Hey Cloud Gamers, so today I'm going to talk to you about Stadia. What is Google Stadia and what is all the fuss about? Well, Google Stadia, quite simply, is a cloud console. So you think of it as a physical console, but you don't need to buy the console up front and you can't see it. It's best played with a controller and you can play only the games available for that platform. Currently, there is 66 games available on Stadia. You have to either purchase these or access them through the Pro subscription, which is £9 a month. But you don't have to have the Pro subscription to play the games that you purchase, only if you want to get that access to that Pro subscription and those free Pro games, which I think there is 19 currently, which you can see here. You just claim the Pro games that you want and you play. So one of the things with Stadia is that there is no installs, there are no updates. When you play these games, you play them directly through either your browser, your Chromecast Ultra, or an Android mobile device. As you can see, I've got quite a few games in my library. There is also this captures feature, which allows you to save 30 second clips of footage in game. It's like a constant instant replay. You hit that capture button and it will record the last 30 seconds. So if something interesting happens in game, like I was playing Grid here, and suddenly a car just flipped over in front of me, completely unexpected, but I was able to hit that capture button, record the last 30 seconds, and have the footage here of it. There it goes. This also works for screen captures, so you can just capture those screenshots in game as you go. And they're all available in this kind of capture viewer. Now some of the unique features available for Stadia, you would have heard it at their Connect recently if you have paid attention. Click to play. So in their Stadia blogs etc they will often put links to the games and you can just click the link and it will take you to either the store page or directly into the game. For example there's a Steam World Dig Pro game here, if I just click the link it loads me to Stadia. I haven't claimed this game yet so I can just hit claim. Again, no downloads, no installs, and the game is available for me to play, and I can launch it directly, and there we go, straight into the browser. As I said earlier, the click to play links, if you have already purchased the game, will just directly launch the game. As part of that click to play, Crater took this a step further with the introduction of State Share Beta, where you can get given a link and if you put that link into your browser it will take you directly into somebody's game session if this was shared by a friend you will actually go straight into their game instance as you can see here I put the link into my browser rather than create a launching to its title screen it is going to launch me directly into that game and that is state share beta One of the features that was talked about quite a lot originally when Stadia launched but seems to have been like forgotten about but is a massive challenge. plus for Stadia is something that I call Game State Save. I'm not sure of the actual official name for this but essentially whatever state your game is in is saved for up to 15 minutes so if you are using Chrome and you need to reboot your computer or you want to move to your Chromecast Ultra all you have to do is exit whatever you're on or leave it running and pick it up on the other platform. As you can see I've started the Crew 2 here. I've launched into game. I'm just going to just quit the browser without exiting Stadia. Completely close the browser and restart it. Go back to Stadia and launch the Crew 2 again and I'm exactly where I left off. This is available for 15 minutes but you might think that that's not that handy or it is if you have to rebuild your computer but it does become a lot more useful if you wanted to switch screens so say I'm playing on my computer I'm going out being driven somewhere I can just switch over to my phone and you can see here I have just picked up that game session on my Android device and it's picked up exactly where I left off. This is even more useful now. Stadia is available via 4G and 5G data connections. Unfortunately, there is no audio from the Stadia mobile app when recording on device. But you can see that it works beautifully. But if you think things are getting a bit tricky on mobile and you think maybe I want to switch back to one of my other screens, either the Chromecast or a PC or Mac, 
again you can just leave the mobile session where it is and then launch back into one of the others and it will take over that game session as you can see here I've then stopped mobile and relaunched the Chrome instance and once again it picks up exactly where I left off and I can carry on gaming and that is game state save very useful probably won't use it a lot but when you do you will appreciate it something else that has been kind of forgotten about is stream connect this is one of stadia's best features in my book but only a couple of games right now support it and that is the division 2 and ghost recon breakpoint if you look down in the bottom right here you can see my squad mates viewpoints of the game this is very useful especially if you're not using microphones so you can see what they're attacking, where their view is, and exactly what they're doing in game. Especially useful if you think somebody's gone AFK, you can see that they're in menus, or you can see where they're pinned down. It's just really useful, much more useful than I originally thought it was going to be, and it is a great touch in multiplayer games, especially with things like The Division 2. So that is Google Stadia in a nutshell with some of the more unique features available to it. I'm going to leave you with some gameplay footage of Orcs Must Die 3, which has just landed as a pro game on Google Stadia, and a bit more footage of The Division 2 later on in this video, so you can see some of the quality and just general gameplay aspects of the platform. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to stay up to date with all of the latest across all cloud gaming platforms, and I will see you next time. Enemies are preparing to breach one of our gates. They've broken through a gate. Here they come. There are enemies in our rift room! Transmission control module. It handles all communications going in and out of viewpoint. If you reset it, you'll lock out the true suns and we can take over the channels. Okay, stay by the module and make sure it completes the reset sequence.